Now that we have our skeleton settings all set up, the next step is to hit skeleton placement. When we do that, it's going to ask if we want to build the skeleton with our chosen parameters. We can hit yes. At any time, you can go back to these previous steps, so you're never fully committed and locked in. So now what we get is a mannequin with uh, basically a rig, and what I call this is the joint mover. The joint mover is a simplified rig that allows us to place the skeleton in our mesh very quickly. In this case, we don't have a mesh. Uh, we have the built-in mannequin. Uh, the reason that's very useful for us at Epic anyway is that it allows us to prototype characters without having final art from the art team. So this means that we can kind of um, play around with proportions and figure out kind of a cool uh, character and animators can start animating without an actual finalized model. And then our modelers can actually build the model to our mannequin. So let's go over some of the uh, joint mover features here. So this out here, if we go into wireframe, um, we can see that this is our ponytail bone that we had added, our ponytail chain. So we can go ahead and move that. This is our jaw bone that we had added. And then down here, we've got our hip pouches. Now if I turn on symmetry mode, which is right here, this is what I was talking about earlier, is I'll actually be able to and it's easier to go in the outliner for this. So over in the uh, interface, there's a picker tab and there's the outliner tab. So we can open up custom leaf joints, custom jiggle joints. Now with mirror, with uh, the mirror settings that I had set up with the prefix and the suffix, symmetry mode will now work on these. You can also change the mirror behavior by clicking on the left control and changing the values for the mirror translates and rotates. Now let's talk about real quick the, um, the joint mover rig and the different modes. So what you're seeing right here with these yellow controls, that's what we call the global mode. What it means is if I grab, uh, say, the clavicle global mover and I move this, it's going to move everything down the chain. If I move the upper arm mover, it'll move everything down the chain. This is great for your very quick, uh, broad placement of joints. And then when you want to start getting into details and really finessing the placement of a joint, you can go into offset mode and you'll get the blue controls. This allows you to manipulate a joint without affecting anything in the chain. Now if you want to see exactly where the joint's going to be, because right now we have this geometry, you can go down here to the uh, proxy geo icon click that and where these little LRAs are that is exactly where your joint will be created. Furthermore if you actually want to see what your full skeleton will look like simply go up to joint mover tools build and rebuild preview skeleton. This will actually give us our skeleton so that we can see and as we move things you can see that uh, the joints will update. This is the same code that gets executed um, when we go into the deformation setup that creates our final skeleton. So this is exactly what your skeleton will look like. And if you really wanted to see it, we could go ahead and hit uh, show none, show joints. And now we can see what our skeleton looks like. All right, um, in the next section, we're gonna go over some of the tools over here in the side. And um, I'll see you there.